Um, how does coaxial cable affect antenna performance? Perhaps the first thing to show you is this is actually a coaxial cable that links the antenna to the radio. And if the antenna is on outside, it could be 10 meters, 5 meters, whatever length. And you get different ones. These are much thinner ones. You can see different thicknesses. Um, coaxial cable inside, just to explain to people, is actually very simple. It's got an inside bit, which is the one cable. And then it's got an outer part, which shields it and carries the other half of the signal. That's a bad way of putting it. And there's some dielectric in between that and the outer. That's certainly important in terms of the performance. But that's what we're talking about. They don't only serve to carry the signal, they also shield it. So there's other aspects one have to look at. But cable loss, typically the longer the cable, the more the loss. So if 5 meter cable's got 1 dB loss, then 10 meter will have twice that and dB's loss. So loss will go up the longer the cable. So you have to be careful. If you use a thinner cable, typically also a cheaper cable, the loss is higher per fixed length. And what many people don't realize, if you use a higher band, in other words, if you go from 900 to 1800 band, the loss goes up. So the higher frequencies, you have to be more and more careful because all of these things can contribute to loss. The one interesting thing is that what we call VSWR, and you'll see it quoted on many data sheets, which indicates the matching, how well it absorbs the power, is better if there's losses in the cable. That doesn't mean that the antenna VSWR is actually better. It just means that this loss hides bad VSWR. So if someone gives you an antenna, perhaps a small little antenna like this, and they attach a big piece of cable, they tell you it works, because that VSWR will tell you where it works. And will only be, because the cable is actually, look at the cable here, um, actually absorbing the badness. You don't see the antenna. So be very careful for VSWR quoted um, with antennas that's got bad cable. Connectors get attached to both ends. Good example. One of the things I think you must watch out for, connectors need to be of course good quality, otherwise they may break, cause breakages, etc. But most of all, when you fit them, people typically just check whether the connection has been well done. So they put a short on, see that it goes through and open, and see there's no short. Um, that's not nearly good enough. We've seen you have to measure it at the frequency using a thing called a network analyzer, um, because often the cable still not well connected, even though it is at DC, in other words, testing it with a ohmmeter or normal multimeter, looks like it's doing well.